Hi everyone, I'm Bruce Schwartz. I wasn't supposed to get another video up, but of course, you all know I wanted to. Welcome everyone to the channel. A lot of close-ups. We're getting in close. You guys who want to, nobody wants to get in as close as me, but those who want to get in close, we're going to get in close. Look at this. Cloud formations. Five, six times closer than I usually get. This is the whole crater. That's the whole um, view. So we're talking about views that we can see objects smaller. Yes, smaller than a quarter mile. This is going to be an interesting video. There's a lot to see. We're going to get in to see some cloud formations. Uh, the last video I just posted was amazing with the cloud formations. I got in real close. I'm happy I did. And I'm hooked. Of course, I'm going to get in a lot closer. So this is what I showed the last video. We're in a lot closer now. And we're going to see the cloud formation, haze or smoke on the surface of the moon. Pretty incredible as we zoom up very, very excessively close. We're going to go all out. I'm going to max it out as close as I can with the 14 inch telescope. And again, as close as I can for now, because we will get in closer. It's a process. I'm going to show you guys something amazing. Um, people don't believe me. I'm, I'm going to prove it and explain to you. We're going to see clouds floating in the sky at the back here. You see that? Hang on. That's nothing. Watch this. I'm going to get a circle up here for you guys. Right there. Look at that. Floating. I thought these, they could be crafts, right? UFOs or clouds. These things are floating in the sky. <laughs> Pretty incredible. It's floating. Nothing's holding it. Its shadow is on the surface. It looks like a bloody UFO. Think of it. It could be UFOs. The craters could be UFOs. This is, I'm dead serious about this. Structuring appears under the clouds. So we're seeing clouds move over and we're really close. This is very, very close. So you want to know, okay, guys, we're looking at an area that is about 10 miles wide to give you an idea of how close we are right now zoomed in. We're seeing the cloud cover and activity, by the way. We're seeing objects move on the surface. There's a movement. We're getting that close. So close to get a glimpse of uh, the movement, the activity on the surface. So we're zooming in excessively in this video. Really close zoom ups to see the cloud formations, cloud hazes or smokes that are along the edges of the crater. John Lear told us there was an atmosphere that's why I'm looking at this. And I found some. I found some proof of cloud formation. These two videos, the last one and this one, is an... Uh, it's just beautiful to add that to the collection of what is up there. This is an incredible story. Imagine, not only is there an alien being on the moon, guys, there is a possible surface with vegetation due to an atmosphere that is more elevated than what we were told. In this video, you're going to see the moon like you've never seen it before. Well, it's like I've never seen it before. It's just absolutely incredible. Hard to get in close, but when you do get in close, uh, the footage, I will really try to get in as close as I can with the footage and as clear as I can to show you guys. We have an amazing wide angle throughout the video. Enjoy, everyone. Now, I'm going to explain to you, you're going to get a lot of trolls hating me for this, and I'm so happy to be able to show you small objects, smaller than a mile, under a quarter mile, meters wide. To be able to see them, we got to get in close, and when they appear, it's because you're getting in close enough for them to start appearing. If not, you will not see them appear. These little craterlets will appear once you get close enough. I've never seen that one appear and I've always seen this crater, but I've gotten closer than usual. And of course, new craterlets are appearing. There are so many craterlets. What are craterlets? Just basically smaller supposed craters on the surface. Most often look like domes.
Mayor Christian Basin. This is Proclus Crater right here. This white flash of light down there. Always hard to see the surface of these objects, isn't it? But when we get in close, we can really see some surface detail. Again, this is the line of light. Look at that color. So let me know in the comment section if you want us to get in even closer. Well, of course you do. You don't even have to tell me because that is exactly what we are going to try and do. So we're seeing new things happen when we zoom up like this. We're seeing things that are hard to understand, to explain because of the telescope. And like I said, those craterlets that appear when you zoom in very close would also be able to give us maybe a sign of objects or structures on the surface, maybe at the Apollo 11 moon landing. See, the objects that we're looking for are smaller than what the telescope can really pick up. But there are indications uh, probably around the Apollo 11 moon landing or any other Apollo 11 moon landing for us to be able to look for signs. You know, looking through some of the photos, uh, NASA photos, would we not be able to see um, surface terrain? Nah, not really, because all I'm seeing is a gray flat surface. Basically, most all of the photos that they're, uh, they've shown the public. NASA themselves has told us that there's an atmosphere on the surface of the moon and are slowly talking more and more about the, the water they have found on the moon. Um, what is the atmosphere made of? They're talking about, well, first of all, Apollo 17, there was this lunar atmospheric composition experiment, the LACE, the LACE deployment during the Apollo 17 mission. And that was to verify 
the atmosphere on the surface. They don't linger on about that. There was a glow from the sodium in the lunar atmosphere. So like I said, and even a community member has mentioned to me, the yellow we are seeing could be sodium around the craters because that is mixed with the atmosphere and the clouded regions that we are seeing, as John Lear has told us, and as I have come to the conclusion is real because I've seen it myself and I've showed it on this channel. They say that there is sodium in our atmosphere over Earth at about a level of a height of 70 kilometers. So why is it there? There's also other like magnesium and etc. A lot of other elements, metallic ele elements in the sky in our higher at and lower at atmosphere of Earth. That's pretty incredible and actually very concerning. And another thing is that they don't know where it's from. So you try to make me believe that there's no study being done on the pollutants in the sky. And they say they have no clue on whether these vaporize or not.